Tutor LMS boasts a wonderful experience of course building from both the backend builder and especially the frontend course builder. In today's academy video, we'll take a look at how to build a course using the frontend course builder of Tutor LMS. So let's get to it. To get to the frontend course builder, we need to go to our dashboard and click on the create a new course button. Once we click on this, this will take us to the frontend course builder. So first up, let's set a title for our course. Um, let's go ahead and call our course Learn JavaScript 101. Then we can change the slug of our course to what we prefer. We're going to go ahead and name it Learn hyphen JS. So it's short and easy to see. After that, we have a pretty important section, the course description or about course. We add a course description that lets the students know what the course is about and what they can expect to learn from this course. So we'll go ahead and add a meaningful description so students know that they will be able to learn the basics of JavaScript on this course. All right, now, we have the general settings for the course. We can set a maximum student limit, but let's keep it at zero, which means that there will be no limit. Then we can set the difficulty of the course. And since this is a 101 or beginner level course, we'll set the difficulty to beginner. If for some reason you want to make this course public, meaning that students won't need to enroll to the course and they can just start learning right away, you can enable this toggle. And lastly, we'd prefer to have Q&A for our course so we can keep this toggle activated, which is already activated by default. We can then select the category for this course. Since this is a programming course, let's set the category to development. Then we can choose to make the course free or paid. Let's have it be paid. By the way, if you are new to Tutor LMS and do not know how the monetization system works, we have a video on it already. So do check that out. Links will be in the description. So let's go ahead and set a price for our course. So we're going to go ahead and set the regular price to 20 and we can also add a discounted price and let's have it be $10. Then we can choose a course thumbnail or a course image for our course. So you can upload an image here. This will be displayed on your course page and it will give an idea to your students what this course might be about. After that, we have the option to add a video to our course. We can select different sources for this as well. Let's select YouTube and paste a URL. This will now add the video from the URL as our course intro video on the course page. Finally, we come to the course builder. This is where you would really create the substance of your course by creating topics, lessons, and quizzes. We already have a video on course building on our channel. So once again, links will be down in the description. Do check that out for more on the course building process. The next section allows us to add an instructor or choose multiple instructors for our course. So the person creating the course will always show up as the main instructor. But if you want to add other instructors for the same course, click on the add instructor button to do so. Then we can add course attachments to our course. So this would be PDFs or books or any other material if there are any that you want to provide for your students. So let's go ahead and upload a PDF to see what this will look like after we complete the course. So as you can see, we've uploaded a book as the course attachment because we want to provide our students with some material. Moving on, we finally come to the additional data section. So as the course upload tips on the right says, information from the additional data section shows up on the course page. 
So all of this is the detailed information about the course the students will see right before they might decide to join the course. So first of all, we can let the students know what they can learn from this course by giving them a brief look at the topics covered in this course. Then you can specify the target audience for this course. So who you are really expecting to be taking this course. Of course, since this is a basic course teaching JavaScript to beginners, anyone can be expected to take the course. Following that, you can set the duration of the course so students can know how long it'll be to finish the course. You can also list the materials you are including in your course. So earlier, the course attachments that we uploaded, we can list them out here for the convenience of students. Then we have a section for requirements or instructions. So this would be any additional requirements or special instructions that you might have before taking this course. So make sure you let your students know what the requirements might be, or if there are no requirements, let them know that too. Lastly, we can select a tag for the course. Since this course is regarding JavaScript, we're going to set the tag as JavaScript. After that, we have the course prerequisites section. Once again, since this is a basic 101 level course, we don't have a prerequisite for this course. And finally, we can select the certificate template for our course. So the template we select here, when the final certificate is awarded to the students, this is what the certificate is going to look like. And that's all folks. That was how you can use the powerful front-end course builder of Tutor LMS to create a course from scratch. Once all our setup is complete, we of course should take a look at how our course shaped up to be. So first, save the course as draft. And after that, hit the preview button and this will take us to the front-end view of the course. And we can see that everything is in order and all the descriptions that we've added all show up right here. Thank you all for watching. And as always, if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments and we'll see you all in the next one.